you want to come in and uh, watch a jam jar jet experiment? Yeah, let's do it, mate. Come on. Well, this is James's shed. What have we got? This, this is a very simple little device. Essentially, a jam jar <laughs> with a hole in the lid. With a hole in the lid. Is it a very carefully formed hole? It is a very carefully formed hole. And the jam jar has to be exactly the right size and shape. Oh, right. But otherwise, it's very simple. <laughs> OK. So, so what we're using is a bit of meth. meth. Spirits. OK. And because yeah. it gets hot quite quickly, I'll have to extinguish it, otherwise it bursts the jar. Oh, OK. We don't want jar bursting well, happening. Well, no, because it means I have to find a new one. Yeah, of exactly <laughs> the right size, size and shape. shape. Yeah, exactly. Which is annoying. <laughs> so what we're going to do, because it does get quite warm, yeah. to protect the bench, we'll just... Put it on uh, something... Uh, on something that's slightly heat resistant. So if we just mix some of the uh, mess with the air. OK. Stick it down there. All right. Make sure there's nothing sitting around the surface. Give it a light. Holy moly! Didn't quite go for it. It's pretty impressive, though. <laughs> Once again. Get these gases. Uh, too much. Uh, yeah, it got to the point where it's probably a little bit saturated in meth and not enough oxygen. Yeah, exactly. So try it once more. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Now, as I say, it can't be done for very long. However, this can. <laughs> what we do is use what's left in there. This is exactly the same thing, but made of metal. Was it custom made for this? Custom made for the job. Oh, wow. What would you call that? It's actually called a rinsed pot. After a young Dutch boy came up with it, doing exactly what I just did with that jam jar, he was wanting, he was a bit of a pyromaniac, and wanted to uh, make explosions. So he went into his mum's uh, larder, found some jars, made a hole in the top, filled it up with uh, fuel, just like I did. And to his great surprise, rather than blowing up, it all of a sudden burst into action like a little engine. So in case you guys didn't know, James makes his own jet engines. Here's is one of his balancing rigs. Um, so uh, this, is, uh, this looks fun, mate. Go on then. Yeah. <laughs> well, it needs a tiny bit more it. needs a bit more than the other one does. Sounds like my motorbike. Yep. <laughs> Love well, it. Gradually the methylated spirits get damp from the air and it'll, it'll just stop, it'll go out. Or I can stop it. Wow. Now I don't wow. touch it because it's now very it's hot. It's warm, yeah. 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 That's but the brilliant. interesting thing is on here what we've got is a full water jacket. So we've you can got, keep that cool, can yeah, you? What we can do is actually this is, this is our club kettle. <laughs> water heater, so basically... <laughs> Cold in, hot out. A jet engine water <laughs> heater. That's brilliant. <laughs> Thanks for that, James. <laughs> <laughs>